Iron is a metal. It's also a boring household chore. It's a homophone too. In this video, we'll keep an eye on iron. Notice one thing first. There is no R sound in the word iron. It's iron. If you learn nothing more from this video, learn this. I don't think I've ever had a student who has not wanted to pronounce the R sound. There is no such thing as iron, unless your name is Ron and you're not very good at English. Then you might say, I, Ron. If your name's not Ron, and you know how to use the verb to be, say iron. As far as metals go, iron is the most useful and most abundant metal on earth. We've been using this metal since the Iron Age, which was a long time ago indeed. Iron is everywhere. Look around you. How many things are made of it or contain some of it? I think it's safe to say that there's nobody in the world, no matter how poor, who doesn't own something made of iron. I think it's also safe to say that there's nobody who would rather be doing anything else besides the ironing. Notice the pronunciation, ironing. No R there either. I have an iron at home, it's probably the least used household appliance in the house. The clothes I'm wearing now haven't been intimate with an iron for a very long time. Why? Because doing the ironing is a complete and utter waste of both time and energy. What does it matter if my clothes are a little bit wrinkly? I'm a bit wrinkly too now, so what does it matter if my clothes match? Perhaps only the young should iron their garments, as only the young lack creases, crinkles and crumples. Calculate the number of hours you spend ironing each month and the amount of electricity you consume and you might begin to think the same way as I do. If we all went about in crumpled clothing, our carbon footprints would shrink as dramatically as my wife's woolen jumpers the last time I tried my hand at the laundry. Not that an iron is that difficult a thing to use. Plug it in, wait for it to get hot, Press the hot iron against the fabric, say, oops, and spend half an hour scraping the molten fabric off the iron using a wooden spatula and damp tea towel. As you make your way to the shops, promise yourself never to pick up an iron again as long as you live, which won't be as long as you hoped for if you don't replace the stupid non-heat-resistant favourite piece of your wife's wardrobe before she gets home. Anyway, spare a thought for the poor souls in the days of yore who had to use one of these monstrosities. I guess you tossed some hot coals from the fire into the body of the iron and waited for the heat to radiate into the soul. This one looks like it might have used boiling water or perhaps burning oil as the heat source. Regardless of how they worked or didn't, just looking at these implements of domestic torture makes me wonder how on earth ironing ever caught on in the first place. But catch on it did. It caught on so much that some people even iron their underpants and socks. I mean, come on. You're not one of them, are you? Let me know by leaving a comment at YouTube or at linguaspectrum.com. But all this obsession with ironing has brought us the phrasal verb iron out. Iron out means to sort out any problems with something. For example, This video will soon iron out your problems with the pronunciation of the word iron. A person who sells things made from iron or other metals is commonly known as an ironmonger. A person skilled in making things from iron by hand is called a blacksmith. From the blacksmith we get the idiom strike while the iron is hot. To strike while the iron is hot means to take action in good time when the situation is favourable and to not waste the opportunity. 
The blacksmith would heat the iron in his forge until it was red hot. That was the time to strike it with his hammer to fashion it into whatever object he was making. Now that you've learnt some new words, you should strike while the iron is hot and do some practice using the interactive quiz at linguaspectrum.com. It'll iron out any problems you may be having with the new vocabulary. You'll find a link in the video description or by visiting linguaspectrum.com. When iron is exposed to oxygen and water, rust forms. Rust is iron oxide, and it causes the corrosion found on old iron objects. Something like this bulldozer may have so much rust that we call it a rust bucket. Some people who have red hair are also named rusty because of the colour. This old iron has also become rusty and wouldn't be much use for ironing today. You can become rusty too. This doesn't mean that the four or five grams of iron in your body will turn to rust and make you fall apart. When you've become rusty, you've forgotten some important skills. After a long break from English, many students find they've become rusty and find it difficult to speak English. Don't worry, as soon as you brush up on your English, you'll find your old skills returning. Iron that doesn't rust is called stainless steel, or inox steel, because it cannot be oxidised. Stainless steel is an alloy of iron that contains about 11% of the metal chromium. While iron makes up about 35% of the mass of the earth, chromium is the 24th most abundant element in the Earth's crust. We're not going to run out of chromium or iron anytime soon. Steel, rather than stainless steel, is iron mixed with carbon. Cast iron is iron that is heated to a liquid state and then poured into a mould. Things like train wheels are made of cast iron. Because cast iron is extremely strong, we get the idiom, a cast iron guarantee. A cast iron guarantee or agreement is one that can be relied on 100%. I'll give you a cast iron guarantee that by watching this video and by doing the interactive quiz at linguaspectrum.com, you will improve your English. I have a cast iron stomach and can eat anything. I also have a cast iron constitution and am rarely ill. Do you remember that I said at the beginning of this video that iron was a homophone too? The homophone is iron. This doesn't have a letter R in it, so there's no temptation to say it with an R sound. An iron is any atom having a positive or a negative charge. For more information about charges, see my video on electricity. Oddly enough, though computers depend on ions to work, my videos are completely free of charge. How many things made of iron can you name in your house? Tell us in the comments below. If you like this video, click the like button and make it one of your favourites. Strike while the iron's hot and share this with your friends. If you like it, they will too.